It's always so exciting to see that ball drop. It's just uh, on the precipice of a new beginning, a yeah. new year. Haven't and seen it for a couple years because I've been asleep, but yeah, well, it's still nice. You know, <laughs> the casualties <laughs> of working the shift. But uh, we're going to be ending the year on a nice note, at least yes. weather-wise. Yeah, I'm, well, it'll be a little rainy, a little soggy, but temperature-wise, it'll be beautiful. I know other years we've had freezing. blizzards and freezing oh, temperatures goodness. and ice and a whole mess of just uh, chaotic weather. But this year, yeah, yeah it, it's going to be pretty nice overall. We're going to be seeing temperatures in the 50s and then overnight really staying pretty mild as well. Nice. So if you will be out late on Saturday, ringing in the new year, bring the rain gear with you, but you don't have to bundle up too much, nothing too crazy. In fact, it'll be a little bit warmer than what we're used to for uh, ringing in the new year and for the start of January. Here's a look uh, back towards Providence. Again, we have some clouds sort of rolling in overhead and you can kind of see that light reflecting just a little bit. But overall, it is a really beautiful start to your day. Temperature wise, at least it's pretty nice out there. 22 for Providence, 25 for Westerly Smithfield, looking at 20 degrees to start off, 23 out towards New Bedford. So what are we looking at? Well, the quiet weather that's going to continue all the way through today, tomorrow, Tomorrow and into Friday. We're also tracking some more mild temperatures on the way. Today's the first day that we are not below normal with those highs. We're going to be right where we're supposed to be. And like I mentioned, there are some showers on the way for your New Year's Eve and your New Year Day. Looking at your satellite and radar, you can see those clouds kind of building in. They started to sort of arrive over the last maybe two, three hours, and then they're just going to kind of continue to thicken all the way through till about 8, 9 o'clock. And then we'll see sort of a back and forth between clouds and sun for the day ahead. Nice high pressure sticking around for today. It's going to keep us dry and comfortable and really help to bring that nice warm air towards our area for this afternoon. Here's a look at your morning forecast. Again, by about 8, 9 o'clock, we're still looking mostly cloudy. But then as we continue through the rest of your morning, you'll start to see a bit more sunshine kind of mixed in there. It's just going to sort of be a back and forth between clouds and sun for most of the day today. Overnight tonight, we will start to clear out uh, pretty significantly. But for your daytime hours, it's going to be sort of a back and forth, particularly in the morning. Daytime high back up to 40 degrees. So uh, right where we're supposed to be, if you look at that almanac for December 28th, that normal high is exactly 40 degrees, and a couple of spots will even be maybe one or two degrees warmer. So temperature-wise, we are really starting to see things turn around in comparison to the cold stretch that we've been dealing with. Here's a look at some of those temperatures. Uh, 41 for Narragansett, Wickford, Hope Valley, uh, Newport, 43 degrees. Providence looking at 41. Same goes for uh, West Warwick and Woonsocket, out towards Bristol as well, Fall River, and then back down towards Dartmouth. 41 is going to be a very popular number this afternoon. Here's where things start to change. It's going to be on Saturday kind of afternoon into the evening. During the day Friday, we're going to see a lot of moisture start to pick up out of the south. And most of your Saturday, you're dry. But then as we head into the evening, you'll see that rain kind of move in from the uh, southwest, rolling across our area, giving us a little bit of a soggy start to the new year. So on Sunday, the rain will still be sticking around, uh, just really some scattered showers. And then we dry out for your Monday, Tuesday, so the first uh, work week for the new year. You're going to be seeing some dry conditions and also pretty mild overall. You can head over to our website. That's WPRI.com. We've got that full seven-day forecast. You can check it out anytime you like.